Hello everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lexi and today I am moving from upstate New York to Dallas, Texas and this is literally the craziest thing I've ever done. I've never run this far away from home and I have never moved like across the country. So doing this process has been so chaotic but now that I have started it and done a lot of it, I have so many tips and tricks for you guys that I will also share in this video. So I'm really excited to bring you along this journey with me. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So we are just about ready to go. My parents are actually packing the car while I'm doing this, so I should probably go be helpful. But then we will be on our way to the airport. Okay, so we just got to the airport, and this is so crazy. We actually have six suitcases literally like what and they all actually weigh almost actually just about pretty much 50 pounds each so we did this because we actually learned it was a lot cheaper to do it this way than to try to mail all of this stuff so just for reference southwest airlines has your first two bags are free American Airlines and Delta charge $70 for two bags and United charges 80. And if you tried to mail a package that was 50 pounds and this big, you couldn't even do it for like under $115, the cheapest we found. The ship's not that far and it might not even be properly insured. And it would take forever to get there. So this is just the smartest, quickest, and cheapest way to do it. So if you are traveling a long distance or pretty much across the country like me, it is really a great idea to take some extra luggage with you. All right, so we are on our second flight from Charlotte to Dallas-Fort Worth, and we were a little bit rushed in the airport, so we got some lunch and brought the rest with us, but we're really excited to get to Dallas. My boyfriend is also on his way driving, so we'll be there shortly to meet up with him as well and show you the apartment, which I'm really excited for. Okay, we are here at Dallas Fort Worth Airport. I love this airport. I've only been here one other time, but it's really awesome and so techy and like modern, I guess. But we are like 10 minutes behind schedule, but it's fine because I think Sean is too. So we are going to go out and get our baggage and then we'll be moving to the apartment. Okay, so we are here in the rental car. It was absolutely crazy getting out of a huge airport with so much luggage and trying to go get a rental car, but it doesn't matter. We are here and almost to the apartment and I actually have like 11 at least packages waiting for me to be picked up and that's not even considering the ones that are already in my apartment itself. So the people at the front desk might not love me at this point, but I will make up for it. Cause I feel so terrible that they've had to do all this for me, but I'm so excited to get there and have so much stuff. So we are almost there, so close. I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, well, we just got to my apartment and there are several packages here. So yeah, I don't even wanna know what's also in the apartment itself because if this is how much is outside the door, it's gonna be crazy inside, but you know, let's go see what's behind the door. Oh my goodness. Well, here is the apartment. It is absolutely beautiful, but there is so much stuff in here. So that's that. Here's a little brief empty apartment tour for you guys, but I don't want to show too much because I want you guys to all see it once it is done and I do a full like decorated apartment tour, but I'll give you guys a sneak peek. I am so excited, it is even more beautiful than I remember, 
But a big piece of advice I have for you guys is to really wait and order as much of your stuff as you can until you get here because it was really nice, the ones that we could schedule our delivery on. We know those are all coming tomorrow, but some of the stuff from like Amazon and other random places that are so cute and I'm really excited about are already here and I feel so bad my leasing office had to bring it all in for us and I know not many places are that generous. So I wanted to get it all done and I was so excited because I have my parents here for the weekend. But I would recommend if you are not in a rush and can wait and have patience unlike me to just get here, get settled, and then have all your packages come because it will be a lot less stressful when you go to pick them up yourself and it's all reliant on you and not having to ask people that work in your building to do it for you. But I am so grateful for my building, so thank you to them. But now I'm going to get my family that waited in the hall so I could record this quick. Okay, so more boxes and packages coming by the minute. We just picked up all these from downstairs that weren't even in here. So really great, really awesome. And my dad is putting together my desk. I also need to go through and see what all of these are. I have no idea what's in each of them. But my dad, without any tools, is putting this together, which is super impressive. I'm not, again, showing you the whole thing because I want to keep it a surprise. So, super exciting stuff. I love moving and moving in and everything. So, that's what we're doing for, like, the rest of the day. So, I don't know what else I'll show you today, but I guess we just kind of have to wait and see. Okay, so we are at it, working hard, getting stuff going. Lexi's sawing with a key because we have no tools yet. We have no scissors yet. But hopefully by tomorrow we'll be a little more organized. All right, so now we have a half done futon and chair coming soon. All right, so we are still moving along. Everything is looking really good. Sneak peeks everywhere. Yeah. So I am getting even more excited. You can see my bedroom because all it is is a mess of clothes right now. My car is not even here with the rest of them. So we are having a ton of fun doing this and putting everything together. Um, a lot of furniture is getting delivered tomorrow, but from what we had, Everything is pretty much put together and set up. We are just missing, I think, one carpet that was supposed to be here. So that's really awesome. So I'm going to continue working on these clothes while my dad continues to build some fun stuff that you can't see yet. Sorry. Also, another tip for moving long distances. I actually did not do this. It's my boyfriend's stuff. He doesn't even know I'm showing you guys. But he vacuum sealed literally everything he owns. So you get everything here in much smaller packaging, which was a brilliant idea. I've never done it before, but hold on, I'm gonna grab one. Okay, I happen to know that he has a ton of shorts, and I think from the color that I'm seeing, this is all or most of them, but there's probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least seven on each side, so like 14 pairs of shorts in here. So super convenient, like really small. I've never done that before. I, I'm going to fall over that, oh my God. You guys almost witnessed a major catastrophe of me falling in the closet. But yeah, good idea if you are into that and have a lot of clothes like we do. All right, so another tip I wanted to give if you are making a big move is to really do a lot of research on your area as well as the accommodations and things of the different apartments you're looking at because I know when I was looking for my apartment, I was obviously trying to find one near my grad school, but really quickly I found out that there was a big, beautiful lake nearby with a ton of apartments around it. So I knew regardless of which one I picked, I would have a ton of people around me, which was really exciting to me. So then just beyond that, it was looking into the different amenities and accommodations and stuff that they had. And I'm so happy with the one I chose because there is is so much to offer. They have this little putting green that I knew they were putting in when I was looking for apartments and a beautiful pool. And I also, another big thing, sorry a lot here, but I wanted to make sure I got a view that I really loved because I thought I would want to be on the lake, but then I saw this pool view and I was like, that's pretty nice too and a lot more my style. 
believe it or not most people wouldn't but you know I am just in love with this place and really happy and excited about it so I am really excited to continue showing you all of my adventures here in Dallas Texas and even more excited to show you my apartment when it finally comes together because it is looking so beautiful already and I know it's going to just get even better as we keep going so that is it for this Dallas Texas travel vlog and some tips for moving across the country or any distance for that matter but I will see you all next time bye guys